Welcome to Talk of the Town, everyone. I'm Robin Zimmerman. And Terpsichore is going to be coming to the Seahawk Cultural Center the weekend of Mother's Day. And we have Jamal Edwards, who is a resident choreographer, and Ella Grace Cook, who is one of the dancers. And you are part of the company. And I saw you in Music Man, which you choreographed. Yes, it was absolutely outstanding mm -hmm. at Hilton Head Christian Academy. I love that show. It's a great I show. Love that. It's a great show. So you did a great job, and I'm excited to see this as well. Mm -hmm. So we were just saying that terpsichore is an overarching term for Greek muse of dance. Mm -hmm. But each year you do it, you have a different selection. And this year it's Alice in Wonderland. Yes. So you want to just jump right in, Jamal, and tell us about it. Yeah, so we're doing Alice in Wonderland. Um, it used to be a three-act ballet, but we've condensed it into one. It's um, choreographed by John Carlisle, who's our artistic director. Um, it's a really fun ballet. It's one that is good for all ages. The costumes are great, nice and bright. Um, the music's fun. And there's actually speaking parts in it as well. All right. Yeah. So it's Hilton Head Dance Theater. And has it been Hilton Head Dance Theater been around a long time? It has. We're close to, I think, almost 40 years, 39 oh, or 40 really? years. Yeah. yeah. Where's your home? Where's your base? Where's your... We're on um, off of Arrow Road at Palmetto oh, Business yes. Park. Right. Okay, very good. So, yes. Ella Grace, yes. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to college next year to be a doctor, <laughs> you um, are in the company. So, tell us about your part. Um, so, in Alice, I'm one of the rabbits. So, I'm in the tea party. Um, it's a little bit different because we actually get to speak as well as dance. Neat. So that's been like a fun crossover from some of the theater stuff I do. And is it all ballet or is it like modern dance too or is it all, is it a ballet? It's, it's a ballet. yeah, it's a ballet. Yeah. There's it's, a lot of like character type dancing in it, but it's... Yeah. How many people in the uh, company or how, in the show, in the program? I think there's about, do we have 26? Like I think it's 26 that. or 27 that are in our company currently. So you're not a, you're not chore you're actually in this, but you're not choreographing this. You or are you doing parts of it? I'm choreographing parts of it. So like we said, Terpsichore, there's different uh, pieces we do each year. So Alice is a part of Terpsichore, but we also have other pieces that we'll be doing uh, in the show. Okay, so it's May the uh, the eleventh, which is Saturday, and that's at 7:30 at Seahawk Cultural Center, and then on Mother's Day, May 12th. It is at 2.30. Now, do you need a ticket? Yes, you do need a ticket. And um, so you go to hiltonheaddance.com. Dance. All right, very good. And you good. can get tickets there. So, so you transitioned from Music Man to these rehearsals, or were you doing them both at the same time? Both at the same time. <laughs> And so what have you enjoyed so much about, really, your dance? I, I know you're moving on to college to go into pre-med, but... Um, well, I get to dance with Jamal in Terp, so oh. that's really fun. We have a fun time um, doing that. I'm definitely more on the classical side, so I okay. enjoy that stuff. Is she a good dancer? Um, she is a great dancer. <laughs> she is, is, he, is he a good... Oh, he's wonderful. <laughs> he's a great partner. You know, I've never seen you dance. Really? Yeah. You I've never come seen the yeah, you have to come. I know. <laughs> it's really fun. I will. <laughs> um, anything else about the program that our viewers might find intriguing or interesting that they would like to, to see and enjoy? Yeah. Um, I'm choreographing a piece called Hip Hip Chin Chin, which is going to be like a jazz number with mm -hmm. a little bit of like... I guess like Latin Afro fusion in it. I kind of like to throw something different each year. And then I also am restaging a piece I choreographed back in 2019 called Prism that was set to the music of Philip Glass. Right, so tell us about that. Um, it's a really fun piece. Um, if you know his music, you know that it is kind of repetitive, it's kind of minimal, but I try to do the choreography the opposite of that. So it kind of has like this really cool effect of like you may hear the same rhythm over and over, but the choreography is different okay. um, throughout the piece. And it, the whole program ends with a stars and stripes kind of theme yes. or number? Yes. Yeah, it does. It does. And how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing since I was three, so almost 15 years. <laughs> and you, Jamal? I've been dancing now 20 wow. years. Have yeah, you always just just is, oh, just been part of who you are? It has been. So I've always been a very like artistic type of person. <laughs> so I, dance just kind of naturally flowed with me. Wish you enjoy more choreographing or actually dancing yourself. Um, both. Uh, it's hard to say. It depends on what it is. I do enjoy the choreographic process because it gets my own personal creativity out. But I also do enjoy expressing just through movement yes. and dancing. So. 
Well, Ella Grace, good luck to you and congratulations you. on your graduation you. from Hilton Head Christian <laughs> Academy. And you're going, the college is Samford yes. in Alabama. Oh, yeah. And Jamal, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. And Thank again, you. Terpsichore Terp is going to be at Seahawk Cultural Center on the weekend of Mother's Day. Yeah. Thanks for being with us.